Today on Transfer Talk, we will be discussing the proposed move, or switch if you want to call it that, between Nico Hülkenberg and Pierre Gasly. The Frenchman Gasly has not had the best start to the year with Red Bull, definitely needs to improve. Hülkenberg, however, some argue could do with a bit of a break and this could be his way out of Renault and finally to a top seat. This is all rumours, but there's lots to talk about and it's a perfect chance to talk about Hülkenberg, is he good enough for a top seat, and Gasly, his start to the season. And that's exactly where we're going to be starting. Pierre Gasly, last season with his first full year in Formula 1, his rookie year in Toro Rosso after doing three or four races at the end of 2017, really impressed last season did Gasly in a car which had Honda engines for the very first time and for the most part was a car struggling near the back end of the grid. He got a fourth place, a magical fourth place that was in Bahrain at the beginning of the season and even at the latter stages of the season was still consistently picking up points in a car which shouldn't have been in the points. However, his move to Red Bull was arguably a bit premature. The team were not expecting a shot move from Daniel Ricciardo to jump ship from the Red Bull family and move over to Renault. So the team didn't really have many options. They could bring in Carlos Sainz, who was already on loan at Renault that season, or trusting Gasly and bring him into the team a little bit early. And as we all know, the reason you're watching this video, the team went with Gasly. We're now six rounds in to the 2019 season, which is not a lot of rounds whatsoever. We've still got the majority of the season to go. However, people are already calling for Gasly to be dropped. And you know what? I do have to agree. He's not been good enough so far, especially in those first two rounds of the season. He didn't even get into Q3. And in a team what expect to be on the podium, Verstappen almost winning in Monaco if things went his way, Gasly is a long way off the pace. There's definitely been improvements. However, what the team probably expected, he's miles off the mark. And that is a huge issue for the team and something that I'm sure Christian Horner and the guys behind closed doors will be keeping a keen eye on. It's not been awful for Gasly. It has not been awful Season best result of P6 last time out in Monaco. He also scored that in Spain. He's also got two fastest laps this season, which have really helped him out. However, it's the fact that he's so far away from the top five. And in reality, it should be a top six. However, I've got to give him his due. What do Red Bull want from Gasly? They want a number two driver. That's what they, a Mark Webber-esque, sorry Mark, and Mark Webber fans, but that's what they want. Someone who's going to support Verstappen, not cause too many issues, but what they need is a real support driver where if Verstappen isn't quite going to be on the podium, they're there to pick up the pieces. And Gasly at the moment, while being consistently now in that P6 spot, it still isn't enough considering Verstappen arguably looks like the only driver who's going to put pressure on Mercedes over the next few races. So we'll leave Gasly there for a moment. We'll come back to him a little bit later on. But if the team do decide to drop him, which I might as well say now, I don't think they should, Hülkenberg is the man who is being linked with the move. Is this a sensible one? The Hulk currently has 164 race starts. One pole position all the way back in 2010 in his first season with Williams, I know, Williams pole position. Sounds stupid, but it, it did actually happen once upon a time. Since then, no podiums. Could have got a win, potentially, in Brazil 2012. Contact with Hamilton put those dreams to bed. But ever since, he has this incredible streak, the longest streak in Formula 1 history of race starts and no podiums. But don't get me wrong, this doesn't mean he's a bad driver. He's been best of the rest for a good season and a half now, picking up the official best of the rest title last season, getting P7 overall in the championship. And whilst this year hasn't been the best start to the season, that's more been a reliability issue on Renault's side rather than Hülkenberg's side. The big change at Renault this season is Hülkenberg's teammate, Daniel Ricciardo, who we mentioned earlier, has made the swap 
from Red Bull last year to Renault this year. And that's why Red Bull are interested in Hulkenberg. It's all a big jigsaw, so hopefully you can get your head around it. But they have seen that Ricardo, who arguably was just behind Verstappen at the end of last season, Ricardo, now at Renault, is being matched by Hulkenberg. And Red Bull are seeing this as an opportunity for a guy, Hulkenberg this is, who's getting to the end of his career, who hasn't ever had a big chance who arguably isn't going to be winning races or podiums soon, looking at Renault's current trajectory and their almost fall off of this season. And they're sensing an opportunity to bring a guy in who can last them two or three seasons to bide them over, give them a little bit of time to perhaps develop Gasly in another team to see if he is a suitable fit, rather than putting him straight into the A team and causing issues that way. I think Hulkenberg's a great driver and from experience being a Lotus F1 fan back in the day when there were rumours he was coming to the team I was super excited, super super hyped, it never went through. A similar sort of thing happened with Ferrari fans, he was going to go to Ferrari at the end of 2012, that never went through and he's always been a bit of a an if man as Hulkenberg, he's shown the pace on the track, he's shown consistency and yet moves have never gone through. And I suppose with the Lotus move back in the day, that was generally didn't go through because Maldonado bought the funds with him. Hulkenberg is not a driver known for having wealthy sponsors, but he's just a good racer. And that is generally the primary reason why he has stayed in Formula 1 is his results do the talking. So would he be a good fit at Red Bull? I think so. I think, yeah, I think any team would love to have Nico Hülkenberg. He's going to give you that consistency. And whilst he might not be your Max Verstappen, your Lewis Hamilton, where he's going to be able to pull out these wonder laps from the bag, these wonder overtakes, what Hülkenberg will do is give you that stability. And I think, actually, if he was in a title-winning, or well, a race-winning car, he could be in a challenge for a title. But, again, this is all speculation because he's never had the chance. So... We loop back round to Gasly then. Should Red Bull drop him? I think if they do, they've got to do it at the summer break. I think it's far too early on. And if they do it now, we'll see what happened to Danny Kvyat, where he just lost all his confidence, all his speed, had to consequently take a full year out of the sport and is now back showing what he was, well, his talent that we saw in the early stages of his career. I'd hate for the same thing to happen to Gasly. But I think the bigger thing in this is where does Gasly go? Because if he goes back to Toro Rosso, which you'd think is the logical place to go, who do they get rid of? Surely not Danny Kvyat again, especially after the awesome performances he's been putting in this season. But also, you wouldn't think they'd get rid of Alex Albon either, considering the promise he has shown in only his six races in Formula 1. So what do they do? They're a little bit stuck. Do they try and do a swap with Renault? I think that would work quite well, actually, to be honest with you. However, will Renault want to lose ties with a driver like Hülkenberg and bring in Gasly, who, like we've seen so far this season, isn't firing on all cylinders? Well... If it comes with a nice paycheck, then I'm pretty sure Red Bull would be willing to do that and Renault probably would be acceptable. But what we've also got to consider, which again is a bit of a stinger, Red Bull just split up with Renault last season in a very public split up with the engine. Renault supplied Red Bull with their engine. Very publicly, Red Bull went in on Renault saying how awful they were. They wanted to leave at all costs, which they have done. And they have proved, actually, now moving to Honda engines, that, to be honest with you, the Renault engine isn't that good. So there's broken ties there. It's not going to be an easy switch if it does go through. But it's possible. And if it did happen, I wouldn't be fully against it. But if... If I was in Red Bull's shoes, Gasly is a perfect number two. He's a perfect driver for what they want. And yes, if Verstappen left tomorrow, he's not the kind of guy who's going to leave, lead the team. I, I understand that. 
but he is growing. You look at his pace in Melbourne, you look at his pace in Monaco, and in just six races, that has bumped up tenfold. By the end of the season, could we see him sneak on the podium? I think it's possible if when reliability starts kicking in, grid penalties start kicking in, but I think at the moment, the key, the aim of the game for Red Bull is just to give him time. Let him learn from Verstappen and slowly bring him up to speed. It's not been the start to the season Gasly would have wanted. However, I still think it's a bit of a pipe dream for Hulkenberg to move to a big team like Red Bull in the middle of the season out of thin air. But I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed this different kind of video, transfer talk. I was thinking this is a little bit more of a chill way to do it rather than just to throw around wild accusations but hopefully you have enjoyed and let me know i'll do a little poll in the top right hand corner should gasly be dropped and also should hulkenberg move or is hulkenberg good enough to go to red bull i think that's what i will do because i think that will cause a little bit of debate thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one